हाय फ्रेंड्स गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम आमिर महबूब असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट द भोपाल स्कूल ऑफ सोशल साइंसेज टुडे आई एम हियर विथ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज कम्युनिकेशन विच इज टॉट टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी बी ए सेकेंड सेमेस्टर बाय द नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स वी विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज बैरियर्स टू कम्युनिकेशन विच ऑफकोर्स इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट मैटर to be taken care of because if the barriers are not taken care of communication will not achieve its purpose and it will not achieve its objective all of us want our communication to be effective yes simply doing communication is not enough to have communication in an effective manner is important you know you are attending your class you are in school you are in college you are in any social gathering you are in any program you are in any function or you are in any event you are standing on a stage or holding the mic or you are facing an interview you are face, you are a part of group discussion or seminar conference meeting workshop committee anything you know you are a part of meeting you are doing communication these all come under oral communication you are communicating even if you are sitting quiet and silently you are communicating we communicate in so many ways my dear students we have to be very careful and we have to take we have to take efforts we have to make efforts to make our communication skills to sharpen our communication skills because communication my dear students can either make you or it can break you mind my words communication skills can either make you or it can break you it can give you a hopeless end or it can give you an endless hope yes now i'll be talking to all of you on an important subject of communication that is barriers to communication barriers to communication means all those obstacles all those hindrances all those hurdles which spoil our communication which mar our communication which hamper our communication and which do not allow our communication to uh, to to flow or to go in the direction we intend it to go so my dear students after knowing these barriers we should make sure that whenever we are communicating these barriers should not be there otherwise our communication will not be effective and our communication will not be productive and ultimately the result will not be achieved so when we talk about the barriers to communication there are different barriers the first barrier first kind of barriers are language and semantic barriers all the barriers related to language and semanticism come under this barrier we should take care of these barriers all the language and semantic barriers must be taken care of that is known as under this the first barrier is lack of common language then comes lack of common language then under language and semantic barriers my dear students the next one is semantic barriers then we have poor vocabulary poor know how of grammar and punctuation and roundabout verbiage what is lack of common language when two people sender and the receiver they are communicating it is necessary that both of them must have one common language which both of them know very well otherwise it will become a barrier for example a tamil speaking employee is talking to an english speaking boss it will not be an effective communication it will become a barrier suppose if you are in any part of the world where you don't know their language and the resident citizens of that country don't know your language then you might find it difficult to communicate your message to get across to get yourself across then it will become a barrier so my dear students first and the foremost barrier which comes under the heading language and semantic barriers is lack of common language second we come semantic barriers semanticism means a particular word in every language may have more than one connotation when a sender uses that particular word it is what meaning he is giving to that word it is not necessary that the receiver also takes out the same meaning from that word for example if i say that if i say for example this pen is cheap now i mean to say cheap that i mean to say by the word cheap that it's not very costly it is only 10 rupees worth now the receiver after listening to the word cheap not necessary that he will also take out the same meaning he might see, think that cheap means you know substandard 
so here it will become a barrier semantic barrier so my dear students my dear friends we have to be extremely careful while choosing the words selection of words selection of phrases idioms and of course all the language sentences then we come to poor vocabulary sometimes it so happens that we want to say something but we don't get the right word at the right time so you need to have proper vocabulary if you want to express yourself properly and if you want to con communicate effectively suppose you know uh, when we pre when the students prepare for their competitive exams they have to work hard on their vocabulary when they face the interview sometimes we don't understand a meaning of a word then it becomes a barrier so poor vocabulary is a barrier please work hard to improve your vocabulary consult good dictionaries thesaurus and start reading good books magazines and quality newspapers which will surely help you to improve your vocabulary and my dear students vocabulary will no longer be a barrier to our communication then we have poor know how of grammar and punctuation okay your vocabulary may be very good but unless and until your grammar is good your punctuation is good and you don't know to how to use that word in your sentences what is the use of that vocabulary you need to have proper grammar proper vocabulary proper knowledge of punctuation how to use that words all the parts of a speech direct voice indirect voice framing of sentences subject predicate tenses numbers everything and only then we will be able to use that vocabulary in an effective and constructive manner last under this point language and semantic barriers is roundabout verbiage roundabout verbiage means using most difficult technical heavy bombastic outdated and overused words we should avoid them we should avoid them if i start using very technical word if i start using jargon that is known as technical jargon difficult words outdated words you know which are too many too much used too much use of uh, phrases vocabulary very technical it will become a barrier you might have experienced you might have noticed sometimes you know suppose if you are listening if a doctor two doctors are talking you will see that those doctors will use so many technical words which we might not know no but if they start using those words with a common person with a layman it will become a barrier it will become a barrier using of simple words not using technical complicated words okay so not simplicity there are seven c's of communication which make our communication effective seven c's of communication clarity completeness conciseness correctness concreteness comprehensiveness and courtesy my dear students these seven c's will ensure that there are no barriers in your communication and will surely make your communication effective after language and semantic barriers my dear students we come to organizational barriers organizational barriers are very important in the beginning of my talk i told you my dear students it is almost impossible for any organization for any business house for any corporate sector to survive and to grow and prosper without perfect and effective communication sound communication and of course quality communication and timely communication it should not be delayed prompt communication organizational barriers under this we have first one is hierarchical barriers sometimes my dear students hierarchies are so stiff that they become barriers in communication so hierarchy should be slightly flexible should not be very rigid hierarchical barriers must always be avoided to ensure the beauty and to ensure the success and prosperity of communication then specialization of workforce sometimes you know some employees are given some special work of course we all have studied about delegation of authority and you know job specification right kind of job to the right work right agreed very important but that specialization should not be so heavy so rigorous that that person hardly has any time to come out of that specialization and communicate with his colleagues with his peers with his subordinates with his superiors with her employees and employers yes specialization of the workforce should not become a barrier to communication which it sometimes become then selection of the right medium is also important sometimes we choose the wrong medium of transmitting our message and as a result it becomes a barrier to communication so right selection of the medium 
in communication will ensure the elegance and will will ensure uh, will ensure will ensure the success of our communication last point under organizational barriers is communication load sometimes if the person communication should neither be too short nor it be too long because if it is too short it will finish before the receiver actually gears up to listen and if it is too lengthy and it is too if it is too hefty and if it is too uh, rigorous then ultimately the listeners or the receivers will start getting bored and they will start turning a deaf ear because when the glass is already full and if you still keep on pouring and pouring and pouring the water will keep on flowing out same thing happens with our mind also every receiver every individual every every listener has a tendency has a cert, has certain capacity communication load many a times becomes if you go to listen to a public speech and if it is very long if it is very lengthy you know it will become communication load and as a result it might become barrier to communication next third barriers which we come are physical barriers physical barriers must also be taken care of because they literally spoil our communication under physical barriers noise is the most common physical barriers right now i'm communicating with all of you there is no other noise disturbing there is no outside unwanted noise coming otherwise had it been coming it would have become a barrier to communication if you're talking to somebody over on phone and some noise is coming at the back maybe railway track is there or any noise noise will become a barrier to communication that is why all the important meetings all, all important talks high profile talks always take care in soundproof rooms noise should not become a barrier to communication the second barrier under physical barrier is time time sometimes also becomes a barrier if you are away from your best friend or your life partner for a long time it will become a barrier time an unwanted call at the odd hours midnight when you are sleeping or if you are meeting your friend after a long time yes these are so many reasons how time can become a barrier to communication then distance also is a barrier to communication but nowadays thanks to all the modern techniques and technology advancements and developments where distance is no longer a big barrier to communication but still my dear students in some cases distance is a barrier to communication and it must be taken care of distance you know that is why an important non verbal communication that is proxemics proximity social distancing you know how much distance you are maintaining your territory your area you go to attend a meeting you go to attend an interview to you go to face an interview you might have seen that your chair is placed at a particular place at a particular place purposely because they want that particular distance to be maintained between the interviewer and the interviewee in a group discussion in a meeting in a seminar in a conference particular seating arrangement in conference halls is done because distance also plays an important role in making our communication effective distance also speaks a lot so distance should no longer be a barrier in the communication then age is also a barrier people of certain age group would like to communicate to the people of their own age group otherwise we listen that communication gap is there people of particular age they would like to discuss topics of their areas of interest of their likings and if somebody of no, who is not of their age goes and starts starting talking on a topic which is not of their interest of their age they will not be interested this is how my dear students age will become a barrier to communication last but not the least under physical barriers is sex i mean to say gender yes people of particular gender if you go in a get together if you go in a in parties you will see that females have formed their own groups males have formed their own groups you know people have formed their own groups gender on the basis of their gender on the basis of their sex and on the basis of their areas of interest so talking about the barriers to communication my dear friends finally we have come to the last barrier category of barriers that is socio psychological barriers which are also very important under socio psychological barriers my dear friends my dear students we have got status barrier attitudes and values different perceptions of reality inference abstractness allness and close mindedness 
डिस्टॉर्शन फिल्टरिंग एंड एडिटिंग पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसेस बैड लिसनिंग इमोशंस हेलो इफेक्ट इन अटेंटिवनेस एंड रेजिस्टेंस टू चेंज ऑल दीज प्ले अ वाइटल रोल एज बैरियर्स दे मस्ट बी टेकन केयर ऑफ स्टेटस शुड नॉट बी अ बैरियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ बॉस फील्स यू नो बैड और feels that it is wrong talking to his employee this is how it status becomes a barrier irrespective of caste color and creed post and position status should not be a barrier to communication sometimes it is noticed in mostly in organizational structures and in hierarchies that you know people of lower rank they hardly get any chance they never get any chance to communicate and to interact with the people of their higher age higher post they are higher ups and as a result they start having grievances and grievances are not good for any organization they be, then then ultimately disputes confusions and conflicts arise in the mind so they should be open they should be free to talk attitudes and values sometimes old beliefs old attitudes also become barriers Dif different people have different perceptions to reality two friends go to watch a movie both friends coming out will have different perception the first friend might might say oh wow what an amazing movie maza aa gaya i like the movie very much and at the same time the second friend is telling oh my god how boring that movie was how brutally that boxer was boxing and beating his opponent what pleasure do we get do they get after hitting the other person the blood coming out different people have different perceptions to reality this is how perceptions become you know barriers inferences every morning you get up and you infer that your mother might have prepared breakfast and it must be on the dining table but if something against your inference happens it becomes a barrier when you write with your pen you infer that ink will flow out of your pen but if it does not it becomes a barrier inferences are also barriers abstracting is a strong barrier yes my dear students abstracting should always be taken care of it should be done in a prop proper manner how you abstract allness and close mindedness there are always some people who think that they know everything they are mr all they are and as a result they close their mind they think that they are mr all they know everything usually it happens with small children when their parents go to tell them something for preaching for giving them useful and valuable and important and meaningful instructions they think they are mr all they know everything and as a result they will close their ears they will close their mind my dear friends we don't listen by our ears we listen by our mind always remember you know we should speak less and listen more in communication listening is very important it is rightly said if you want to be a good speaker first you have to be a good listener god also wants us to speak less and wants us to listen more that is why he has given us only one mouth to speak and two ears to listen yes speak less and listen more listening is an art which has to be developed which has to be cultivated and of course which has to be learned but unfortunately least care is taken as far as listening is concerned coming to the next point distortion filtering and editing suppose if i give a message i am the sender and if i if i give a message to one of my receivers and i tell please pass this message on to the to such and such person there is a slight possibility that my message might get distorted edited or filtered some people have a hobby namak mirch laga ke usko kuch tod marod kar dete hain they edit the message they filter the message they distort the message unless and until it is in written form this barrier is particularly for the oral communication coming to the next point past experiences oh my god past experiences is such a big barrier you know i'll tell i'll share a small story with all of you which all of you might have heard in your childhood there was a boy who used to go to jungle with his sheep and he used to shout wolf wolf bhediya aaya bhediya aaya every time the villagers came with dandas in their, their hand to help him and he simply laughed oh i be fooled you he tried this trick twice or thrice every time the villagers came and every time he laughed you know what happened one day finally the wolf came and he shouted and shouted and shouted this time nobody came because everybody thought that this time also he is lying 
past experiences became a barrier my dear friends liars are not believed even when they tell the truth if you want to make your communication effective and beautiful always speak the truth never bluff never lie be honest be sincere be communicated be committed be dedicated and of course be focused you should know what your listener or what the receiver would like to listen next point is bad listening as i told you just now listening is very important we have got two ears to listen and one mouth to speak listen more listening is an art if you want to be a good speaker first you have to be a good listener i may be an excellent speaker and i am giving my 100% speaking but if the receivers are not listening properly they are not listening to me patiently my skills will be super flop listening will make communication effective so bad listening is a barrier last three points emotions are also barrier sometimes we are emotionally charged and as a result communication is wasted hello effect hello effect means trust or distrust in the speaker if you have, if you don't have trust in the speaker then it will be a barrier to communication inattentiveness we have to be attentive and we have to be paying attention to the communication if we want the communication to be effective and if we want it to be barrier free last but not the least resistance to change there are some people who are not ready to change who are not ready to accept change because the things which they think are right are so deep rooted that if the sender shares any new idea or shares any new fact or any belief or any thought they will not change they are not ready to change my dear friends every nothing is forever except for change nothing is permanent except for change we should be ready to change communication is changing time is changing and something which was there 10 years 20 years 30 years or 40 years back in communication is no more in practice every day every month every year we are seeing new changes new advancements in communication telegrams and fax were very much in practice letter writings postmen used to come to our homes every day but nowadays we see things have things are still there but they have been replaced change you have to change my dear students you have to come out of your comfort zone if you want to be an excellent communicator if you want to excel in your communication skills and if you excel in communication skills you will develop your personality and if you develop your personality you will grow in your career graph you will never look back and no power will stop you so my dear students communication skills is an important topic i am sure you all will benefit from all our videos and audios on this platform of bsss rhythm which is always so encouraging so engrossing so enlightening and so illuminating of course yet so knowledgeable all the best to all of you keep growing keep developing keep progressing and keep doing good good luck god bless and have a blessed life to all of you thank you so much